10 Techniques of Manipulation of the Population Through the Media As exposed by Noam Chomsky, MIT professor and founder of Cognitive Science. Note. Each and every manipulation practice described here, has its counteractions, that can be learned and used by civil society, accountable political parties and NGOs. Renowned critic and MIT linguist Noam Chomsky, one of the classic voices of intellectual dissident in the last decade, has compiled a list of the 10 most common and effective strategies to establish a manipulation of the population through the media. Historically the media have proven highly efficient to mold public opinion. By using these strategies of media propaganda, have been created or destroyed, 1. Social movements, 2. Justified wars, 3. Tempered financial crisis, 4. Spurred on some other ideological currents, 5. And even given the phenomenon of media as producers of reality within the collective psyche. How to detect the most common strategies for understanding these psychosocial tools and counteract? Professor Noam Chomsky synthesized and publicly exposed these practices, and they are 1. The strategy of distraction. The primary element of social control is the strategy of distraction which is to divert public attention from important issues and changes determined by the political and economic elites, by the technique of flood or flooding continuous distractions and insignificant information. Distraction strategy is also essential to prevent the public interest in the essential knowledge in the area of the science economics, psychology, neurobiology and cybernetics. 2. Create problems, then offer solutions. This method is also called, problem, reaction, solution. It creates a problem, a situation referred to cause some reaction in the audience, so this is the principle of the steps that you want to accept. For example, let it unfold and intensify urban crisis, catastrophic events, or arrange for bloody attacks in order that the public is the applicant's security laws and policies to the detriment of freedom. Or, create an economic crisis to accept as unnecessary the retreat of social rights and the dismantling of public services. 3. The gradual strategy. Acceptance to an unacceptable degree, just apply it gradually, dropper, for consecutive years. That is how the radically new socio-economic conditions, were imposed during the 1980s and 1990s. The minimal state, privatization, precariousness, flexibility, massive unemployment, wages, and do not guarantee a decent income, so many changes that have brought about a revolution if they had been applied once. 4. The strategy of deferring. Another way to accept an unpopular decision is to present it as painful and necessary, gaining public acceptance, at the time for future application. It is easier to accept that a future sacrifice of immediate slaughter. First, because the effort is not used immediately. Then, because the public, masses, is always the tendency to expect naively that everything will be better tomorrow and that the sacrifice required may be avoided. This gives the public more time to get used to the idea of change and accept it with resignation when the time comes. 5. Go to the public as a little child. Most of the advertising to the general public uses speech, argument, people and particularly children. S. Logic, often close to the weakness, as if the viewer were a little child or a mentally deficient. The harder one tries to deceive the viewer look the more it tends to adopt a tone infantilizing. Why? If one goes to a person as if she had the age of 12 years or less, then, because of suggestion, she tends with a certain probability that her response or reaction also devoid of a critical sense as a person 12 years or younger. 6. Use the emotional side more than the reflection. Making use of the emotional aspect is a classic technique for causing a short circuit on rational analysis, and finally to the critical sense of the individual. Furthermore, the use of emotional register to open the door to the unconscious for implantation of ideas, desires, fears and anxieties, 
compulsions or induce behaviors. 7. Keep the public in ignorance and mediocrity, making the public incapable of understanding the technologies and methods used to control and enslavement. By the quality of education given to the lower social classes, that must be the poor and mediocre as possible, so that the gap of ignorance among the lower classes and upper classes is and remains impossible to attain for the lower classes. 8. To encourage the public to be complacent with mediocrity. Promote the public to believe that the fact to be stupid, vulgar and uneducated is fashionable. 9. Self-blame strengthening. To let individual blame for their misfortune because of the failure of their intelligence, their abilities or their efforts. So, instead of rebelling against the economic system, the individual or Todds validates and feels guilt which creates a depression, whose effects is to inhibit its action. And, without action, there is no social change. 10. Getting to know the individuals better than they know themselves. Over the past 50 years, advances of accelerated science has generated a growing gap between public knowledge and those owned and operated by dominant elites. Thanks to biology, neurobiology and applied psychology, that system has enjoyed a sophisticated understanding of human beings, both physically and psychologically. The system has gotten better acquainted with the common man more than he knows himself. This means that, in most cases, the system exerts greater control and great power over individuals, greater than that of individuals about themselves. Note: Each and every manipulation practice described here, has its counteractions that can be learned and used by civil society, accountable political parties and NGOs.